Hi, I'm Mary from Country Chic Paint. Thanks for joining me today in my home studio where I'll be finishing part two of our fireworks end table project. That's this one right here. Um, for part two, I'll be using our black wax and natural wax from Country Chic Paint and this awesome wax brush. Thanks for tuning in and let's get started. I'm going to be using natural wax to seal this piece. It's had plenty of time to dry, more than 24 hours. It is very, very dry. Um, so I'm going to be using natural wax to all over seal and then black wax for effect. Natural wax is going on first. All I'm going to do is use my wax brush and gently press the bristles into the wax jar just so there's enough. Make sure it's free of lint, just plenty. And I'm just trying to get it onto the surface. I like to start just one side at a time. So you can stipple it on, brush it on. Eventually, circular motions probably might help. And you're just trying to spread it. You will be buffing it later with a lint-free cloth. Instantly, you'll start to see a little bit of shine compared to the matte paint. 100% natural. Absolutely love using this for low traffic furniture, um, like end tables, nightstands, anything that doesn't get a lot of traffic. Waxing furniture is a bit of a workout. Don't forget to take breaks. Alright, so I finished using natural wax to seal the sand table. Now it's time to use black wax for antiquing and add a little depth and dimension. I haven't buffed the piece yet of the natural wax. Um, it's only been about 10 minutes and I'm just going to jump in with the next color. I'm going to put my natural wax brush uh, just off to the side. I'm going to wrap it up in plastic wrap to protect it and now it's ready for the next use. I'm going to go with the tin of Country Chic Paint Black Wax. Just going to dab a new brush in really gently here. It is pretty pigmented, so that's why we use the natural uh, wax first to act like an eraser if you put too much of the black wax on. It does go on pretty dark. So just gonna start in a corner where um, natural wear would have collected and usually just a nice darkened effect on the outsides. Really work it into the corners. That's where this brush is really handy, especially if you have a lot of detail. I've started with the back of the piece uh, which is pretty a good idea if you're a little nervous using the black wax or antiquing wax. Start with the back, um, then you'll be more confident by the time you get to the front of the piece. And I'm not worrying about buffing it too much. I'm going to use that, um, I'm going to use a lint-free cloth next. Not going to be using as much black wax as I used natural, just for effect.
I like to take an old sponge that I no longer use and just use my lint-free cloth and wrap it around so I have something comfortable to hold, a nice flat surface to buff, and I'm just going to gently work circular motions and push some of that black wax to the edges where these corners are. So you get the idea so far. Wax is a really nice subtle product to use for the antiquing effect. Uh, the cloths that I'm using are called Frank's Cloths. You um, can pick these up at local hardware stores. J Cloths, anything lint free, just really make sure it says lint free on the label. You don't want to work that into your pretty finish. Alright, gonna get started with the rest. After waxing, you can buff right away or wait a few minutes or a few hours. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. If you find not as much black wax is sticking over the natural, just buff that area of any excess and apply more black wax. Country chic paint waxes might not be what you're used to. They're 100% natural and free of solvents, so they're a bit firmer than most. This is the black wax that I'm going to be using on this piece. On one side is a, a thick skin that I can't quite get into, it doesn't transfer onto my fingers. And on the other side, that I've just peeled back, is the wax that I can use and it gets right on there. So all you have to do when you open a brand new jar, and sometimes uh, over time it can just develop, you just peel it back and you can use what's underneath. You can also use this skin if you wanted to just heat it up in the microwave. No waste, but I usually just throw that part away. And now this is ready to use and to be applied to furniture. Use an old artist brush for fine detail and getting into smaller spaces. Be gentle with freshly waxed furniture for the first few days. As the finish wears, reapply wax one to two times a year or as needed. And there you have it. A little natural and black wax gave this green end table a darker look and an old world feel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and hit that subscription button if you're interested in seeing more. Check out the Country Chic Paint channel for other awesome ideas. Thanks for watching.